Hi guys and welcome. I want to share my own experience with the best service in the top audio editing software category. I've been using this platform since 2017 and it has never let me down. With its help, I earn about $15,000 per month. In this short video, I'll show you a few secrets that not many people know about, making this system one of the best in the top audio editing software category. Let's not waste any time and get started. What is Adobe Audition? Editing software designed for audio and video editing. It helps with video mixing and mastering, podcast recording and noise reduction. Features of the platform include remixing, multi-track editing, white noise elimination and sound effects. Pricing details. Adobe Audition offers a 7-day free trial for new users, after which the software is available across pricing tiers. Pricing and functionality outlined below. Annual plan, billed monthly, $20.99 per month. Annual plan, prepaid, $239.88 per year. Monthly plan, $31.49 per month. Pros Audition is a stable DAW and the standard DSP is all good quality, particularly the time-based processors. Adobe Audition is truly outstanding programming which helps to eliminating distortions, enhance the sound and upgrade the vocals. It covers pretty much every element for sound engineering. I find myself very comfortable with Audition because I can work in higher quality and produce very satisfying podcasts with great approval from my audience. I am very satisfied with the functionality of Adobe Audition because it allows me to edit my podcasts and significantly improve the audio quality of my work. Cones. I think that still miss some tools, some plugins. I hate the fact that you can't use MIDI with the Adobe Audition. Quite expensive when compared to its counterparts, plus the UI is a bit confusing at the beginning. While Audition has a lot of advanced functionality, it means that it can be difficult to onboard new users. This is why only a few people on my team use this software. What is Shotcut? Shotcut is an open source video editing solution designed to help businesses of all sizes add audio, video and editing effects to create visuals. The platform enables editors to use various audio filters including bass and treble, copy channel, high pass, down mix, expander and swap channels to mix sounds across tracks. It also overlaps shots to crossfade audio and video dissolve transitions. Teams can also use thumbnails and waveforms to track multiple timelines at once. Best 4 on-premise open-source video editing solution that helps users edit videos and add effects with webcam, screen and audio capture. Pros Great software, nearly as good as any other video editing software I have worked with. My overall experience with Shotcut is very good. You can be a dynamic creator with Shotcut. Shotcut is a great video editor for anyone, especially persons who don't want to spend an arm and leg on an editor. I would definitely recommend it. Shotcut was great for starting to teach myself video editing. Cones. We found ourselves routinely having to work around some clipped windows, truncated menu text or confusing layouts, namely the export window. However, it does not export this way. I have no experience with other video editors, so I'm not sure if that's a common theme among them. It lacks some surprising functionality that makes it frustrating to use. This is a feature that I look for in video editors and while editing, I really missed it. What is Adobe Premiere Pro? Cloud-based video editing solution that allows businesses to create and edit videos, add effects or transitions, and export completed footage on a unified platform. It enables users to add captions in video clips, create animated slideshows, and streamline review approval processes. Pros Its transitions and ease of video editing are amazing. The best feature that Premiere Pro has to offer is the ability to nest objects and sequences. I've been using this editing software for almost 7 years and all I could say is that it is a great software in which you can import or create fantastic animations, transitions and titles. I love the software and it is so much better than free versions that are out there. Cones. I've had various rendering problems where final rendering is aborted because of strange and unknown problems. It can be hard to get up to speed on how to use Adobe products in general and this is also the case with Adobe Premiere Pro. When using effect that fades from 0 to 100, I always get black flicker problems in the vinyl video. If I use the transparency tool and keyframe it from 0 to 100, it works normal. 
I absolutely hate the user interface and user experience. This software looks and feels complicated and I get a headache just looking at it. What is Logic Pro? Logic Pro is a fully featured digital audio workstation that provides live loops, step sequencing, quick sampling and remote music making capabilities. Pros Since becoming a full-time composer, I love using this software. The ability to be able to seamlessly use various virtual instruments via MIDI gives this software its strength. I create a wide variety of music with Logic and some types of dance electronica I have created only because of the features of Logic, which I am very grateful for. Being a Pro Tools user for 20 years, it was an impressive change. It has the best from all the main DAWs, Avid, Live, etc. Logic is great, I use it for everything from making a beat to doing vocals all myself with ease at mind. Cones. You still have to be careful with deleting stuff, because under certain settings it has destructive editing features. Even though there are plenty of tools built for Logic Pro, the fact that it can't run VST plugins is disappointing. I haven't found something that I disliked so far. I find Apple's constant hiding of professional features annoying though. What is Blender? Ultra-realistic rendering system that includes GPU and CPU rendering, modeling, video editor, sculpting, simulations and more. Best for Design an animation platform which assists organizations of all sizes with rendering, modeling, VFX, simulation and video editing. Pros The documentation is pretty good to help first-time or existing users create stunning 3D models. I think Blender is a great tool to create your own design for excellent content. For the beginner, this is the best software to use because they have a lot of features which are totally free. Performance is getting better with every new update. It is gaining attention of big parties like Top Game and Movie Studios. It is heavily supported by its users. Future is super superb bright and difference between Blender and other rivals is reducing with every new update. Cons. The only thing I'll say is this software has way too many different functionalities embedded into a single software that makes it somewhat complicated to use. There are several things that annoy me with the program, for example non-manifolds that are highlighted when searched for and keep existing after fixed. And the app can crash from time to time, but same could be said to any 3D software. I also struggled with the documentation's organization and level of detail, the interface was also a major challenge.